Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to stop doing these regular updates in terms of my transition because as we have noticed my <laughs> changes haven't been dramatic um, every other week and stuff so um, instead I'm gonna try and go back to just vlogging and then if I have any significant updates or anything I will I will talk about my my transition updates at that point but um, today I, I just want to kind of go I, I, I had something happen today and um, as, as the title suggests like I said when it rains it pours and I just really kind of need to get some stuff off of my chest and I figured talking to the camera might help. <laughs> so as I've mentioned in past videos, um, I had um, my endocrinologist discovered a lump on my thyroid. I went through biopsy. It had um, additional testing and it came back with a potential of 50% malignancy. So now next week I'm going to see a specialist slash surgeon who's probably going to, we're going to talk about um, uh, pr performing a lumpectomy and, and whatever. And so I've got that that I'm dealing with. But then today I took my uh, my dogs to the vet. Um, I still have, I, I, if, if you've been following my channel forever, you know I've got two dogs, Lexi and Joey. Um, they're both rescues, they're brother sister pair. I have a, um, if you search my channel, you can actually find a couple of videos that I did several years ago of, of them meet Joey and Lexi and that kind of thing. So if you take a look and, and if I remember, I'll try to put a link down below to, uh, to a couple of those videos because they're cute and adorable and I love them. Um, they're both eight and a half years old now. They're, they're from the same litter. And um, we went to the vet today. I was taken to the vet, one, because Lexi um, had developed a bit of a rash on her tummy and so I wanted the vet to take a look at it and so she's now going on a course of antibiotics to try and clear that up. Um, and uh, Joey, um, he had developed some kind of pain um, in his mouth so that every time he yawned, he yelped. Um, he was being very ginger, gingerly picking up his toys and actually he stopped picking up his toys entirely. And then when I was trying to give him his medication, he would yelp anytime I tried to open his mouth. So um, we've been kind of dealing with that. And so today, because he's been on um, a medication called Ritalin, uh, not Ritalin, <laughs> Remedil, Rem Remedil, <laughs> he's on Remedil, um, to help with the inflammation. Um, and the doctor wanted to do a blood test just to make sure that his liver um, uh, and, and everything is healthy um, since it's an anti-inflammatory, kind of an NSAID type of pain reliever. And so uh, just want to make sure that his, he, he remains healthy. Well, while we were waiting for the blood test results to come back, it took like 10 minutes, I was petting him and all of a sudden I noticed that there was this huge lump on his head. And I'm like, where the heck did this come from? I had noticed earlier this morning that his right eye was watering more. And I was like, well, that's a bit weird. But you know, I wiped it up and, and, and he was fine. But I didn't notice that there was this lump on his head. And it wasn't there yesterday. I, I pet both of these guys quite regularly, especially on the head, around the ears, etc. And And there was no lump. And it's right here on his right side between his between his um, eye and his and his ear, um, it just kind of is right there. And it's it's like golf ball size. It's pretty big. And so when the doctor came back in to talk to me about his blood work, I was like, oh, we have a new problem. So she looked at it and she's like, hmm, this is concerning. So she went to, um, I think she said she aspirated uh, aspirated it to take some, some cell samples. And we're going to send those off for um, analysis and everything. And she said, yeah, when she came back, she said it was... Um, the inside of it was crunchy and blood filled and I don't quite know if that's bad or good or whatever but she seemed quite concerned. Doesn't mean it's necessarily cancer just because she's concerned but obviously I'm worried. You know my, my first thought was possibly cancer and I'm hoping it's not um, and she said that even uh, you know if it's not cancer if it's completely benign and everything she said maybe best thing to do is leave it alone. It's not hurting him. Um, he like I was able to touch it and everything and she was able to touch it and he didn't whimper or shy away or show any signs of pain so at this moment he seems to be okay um, and it's not causing him any discomfort and she's like you know we'll we'll keep an eye on it if it's benign um, and then if it keeps growing you know maybe we'll have to you know do something about it so we'll, we'll see but if it's malignant obviously you know uh, we're gonna have to have it surgically removed 
um, because, you know, obviously, I mean, he's only eight and, a year, eight and a half years old. I'm not ready to lose him just yet. Um, I really am not, uh, especially with the connections with him and, and Dave and everything else. It's just like, you know, I just really, I'm not in a good place to, to, to deal with that right now. Um, so, anyhow, so I've, I'm, I'm worried about myself, I'm worried about my pup. Um, and of course, Lexi's got her, her rash thing going on. Thankfully, it's not anything concerning, you know, three weeks on antibiotics and she should be fine. So there's that. <laughs> so I'm like, I've just got all these things going on. And, and so far, the, when, it, when it comes to like the actual thing that I've, you know, wanted to do this year was, was my transition. And so far, that's actually been doing quite well and not losing my hair. Uh, <laughs> yay. Um, I'm growing lots more hair. Um, I think my voice has started to change a little bit now, so if, if you know, in terms of updates and everything, um, it, it definitely sounds deeper to me, and, and the last time I did a recording, um, there were definitely notes of, some notes that sounded a bit deeper now, so um, we'll, we'll see how that goes, but other than that, there really isn't a lot of other updates on that, <laughs> which is why I'm like, okay, maybe I should just vlog, uh, just go back to vlogging and stuff. Um, not every week like I used to, just because uh, I've just got so many other things going on. <sighs> and um, I was going to try and maybe do an update about my, my novel, but I just I just really wanted to, like, I've just, I've, with, with, with Joey and, and everything else, I'm like, you know, I, I just can't really focus on that right now. Um, you know, and I will put a link down below for my novel. Uh, it is for sale on Amazon completely now. The, Ebook is $2.99, the paperback is $7.99. If you buy the paperback, you can get the ebook for free. So you can get both if you're if you're into both. Um, you know, anyone who wishes to support me on that, I would be very, very grateful um, if you if you went ahead and did that. And if you do buy the novel, um, please, please, please give a review. I don't care if it's a good review or a bad review, if you love it, if you hate it just please leave a review. Um, I, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, anyhow, uh, that's that's right now, that's pretty much everything that's on my mind and everything, and I'm just like kind of going a little out of my out of my mind, because um, I am worried about Joey, and, and I'm hoping he's gonna be fine, and, and, and you know, I'm probably making a mountain out of a molehill out of this, and it's probably nothing, but you, you never know. Um, and I tend to be the kind of person who worries. And considering the last time I was worried about something, it, the worst case scenario happened, and that was with, uh, with what happened to Dave. Um, I, um, when he didn't come home, and I was worried, and everyone was like, oh, he, he probably needed some time. Everyone was trying to trying to placate me when, when I said that, that he hadn't come home and stuff, and, and I was like, no, something's wrong. And they were like, oh, he's fine. And I'm like, no, something's wrong. And, you know, the, the worst case scenario happened, and, you know, um, the fact that that happened, it's like any time um, I have something worrying happen, I'm like, well, worst case scenario has happened before. It's, you know, it, it's, it, it doesn't help my uh, worry wordedness. <laughs> and I've, I've always been a bit of a worry word, and every now and again, my worries are justified. So, um, it doesn't help any. It really doesn't. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's just everything that's going on with me right now. Um, I hope all of you are doing well, and <laughs> I guess we'll see you in two weeks. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.